Well, what we do is, is called mild hyperbaric. Uh, there's, we don't have 100% oxygen in the chamber itself. They breathe in oxygen through a mask. Uh, not oxygen, actually, it's purified air, which is about, about 93 to 95% oxygen after it gets purified. In the chamber it's basically about 23 percent oxygen and uh, 21 percent is what we normally breathe in ambient air. Well when they first come in we give them a, we make sure that the, we do a physical on them, make sure that they they're physically ready for this and make sure that they don't have any enteria infections or sinus problems or flu-like symptoms just to name a few things. Uh, make sure we give them cotton clothing to wear uh, we take off all the jewelry and things like that and uh, they go into the chamber, they step into the chamber and it gradually goes up in pressure till it hits the pressure that is necessary. Uh, it's usually about 1.3 to 1.5 atmospheres and uh, they stay in there for approximately an hour and a half. They have to learn how to clear their ears and uh, you know because it gets just like you open an airplane, same thing. And we teach them all these things to do and uh, they sit there and that's basically what they do when they go inside. You know, read a book or or lay down and go to sleep. Uh, mild hyperbaric is really interesting. It's oxygen under pressure. In other words, you have that oxygen mask on, breathing about 95% in, in mild hyperbarics. And what happens is when there's pressure applied, the oxygen actually goes into the plasma of the body. It goes into the DNA. It affects the chromosomes. The damaged cells uh, attracts stem cells to that area. It's amazing if you look at the research and it's done all over. The Russians have been doing this for 20 years. Well, the body understands where to send the oxygen, you know, the, the, the stem cells to. We send it an email. No, but really in actuality, the body knows automatically the, the send stem cells to the area. That's just the way the body works. The FDA has been taking a look at this therapy for many, many years. So Hobart medicine has been around for quite a long time. And what they originally used it for was uh, the bends. People are diving, going down, they can't come right back up, and they put them in these tanks so they can decompress. And what they found out, that it heals wounds and it heals cells in the brain, and it's just an amazing technology. What really stirred me in, on to get this therapy applied into our treatment center was that from personal experience, I'm, a, I'm from Missouri, actually I'm from New York as you can tell, but I'm really from Missouri in my thinking. And uh, I, I read all the science and all the stuff and then um, my wife went to this doctor who, so my wife suffers from depression, she's also in recovery and anxiety and he suggested Hobart treatment and he has a chamber and, and I've watched her change, I watched her get better. Uh, my grandson study, uh, suffers from uh, the ADHD and I watched him slow down, tell me how grandpa, how I feel a little different and in a good way and he's more, a little bit more focused and uh, then I watched the clients as we got to chamber and they say that I got more energy and I feel more clarity of thought and I'm able to piece information better together. together. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Actually, it's a, like I said earlier, it's been used in Russia for 20 years. We just, uh, there's a place called Castle Craig. It's out in Scotland. And matter of fact, they're doing research now with Edinburgh University. And um, they sent me the translation for the Russian papers that have been working with Hobart for 20 years. And they rave about it. And so do we. The role I see Hobart uh, playing in addiction treatment and mental health issues is a tremendous role. It's not a magic bullet. I'm not going to say it's that. But it's definitely a piece of this mosaic that, that's going to help us to better treat and have better outcomes for addicts and alcoholics. Whatever I've said today, I want you to go look on the internet for yourself and see for yourself what I'm talking about.